I thought it was like a, like a second moon catcher. Yeah, the the, the one Bakura has. Yeah. That's a that's a Bakura's like my favorite. Bakura's the Vegeta of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's actually my he's actually my favorite because he's just a douche for no other reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well now we got Oracle versus Fargo. Yeah. Or oh. Oracle, been seeing him a lot of couple tournaments lately, so yeah. shouts to him for always not coming out. Uh, he's an IE player. Yeah. Shouts to the IE. Uh, definitely they're making a huge comeback in 2019, and the trend continues here in 2020 for sure. Yeah. I don't know why catch up if you're listening to this. I don't know why you're going here, but hey, maybe we'll relax now. It's like. Uh, I will stop going here. <laughs> <laughs> catch up, please stop going here. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, tell catch up to stop going here. Oh yeah. Uh, but this is another character that got buffs. This character got buffs for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> you character. know what, though, to be fair, <laughs> like, I talk about this because you and I have both played Overwatch. And even if a character is buffed, does that still mean you'll see them more in the meta, right? Like, that's kind of one of those deals, like, Samus is probably, like, a top top three best character in on Wi-Fi. <laughs> I think it's a top ten character right now. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's a controversial opinion, but yeah, I still I think so. If you see the things that Quix has been doing before Quick, the buffs, yo, Quick, Quick was actually robbed from the VR. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, like Quick was already doing work without the buffs, and yeah. now he's going to put in more work with the buffs mm -hmm. and with like the changes to like like how she's able to like. But that's, what, that's kind of one of those things I tell people. Like, even though I don't, I'm not a fan of fighting Samus, right? I don't think anybody is in this world. But, like, we've never seen Samus be as good as she is until we've seen her in this game, right? Mm. All Samus mains had to hope for in Smash 4 was a one-time J-West beat Kong Kong, like, yeah. years ago, and that was it. Now we're looking to see Quick, Choker. Remember when we saw YB last yeah. year? Like, now I'm really happy to see the character finally getting the time to shine in a meta. Yeah. yeah, but, like, you're allowed to get away with a lot more in this game. Oh, yeah. With, the, with Samus' tools. Also... I don't know why she gets a 50% combo off of, like, a charge shot. <laughs> I don't design the game, man. <laughs> we just play it. <laughs> also, real quick, guys, I know that we're going off topic here, but Sakurai made a really good statement talking about the why are there so many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. He went on to, I think in an interview, to go ahead and state that that was not by his decision. That was actually by Nintendo's decision. Uh. So if you guys are going ahead and blaming Sakurai for Battle, that's not even his choice. If he had it his way, I'm pretty sure he would have stopped that Marvel Roy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Man, that bear is really catching him. Yeah. Oh, that bear is definitely catching him. He's got, he's got, he's pretty much got Oracle at one point here. Nice for it, standing in place. Oracle had a lot of things to worry about. And I feel like the reason why he went for a roll is because he knows I don't want to worry about back air, I don't want to worry about cross slash, I don't want to forward smash. Just sliding forward tilt, dash attack. That was really good up there. Shield, yeah. He it's, did that I, last game too, exactly I, the same way. I feel like Sparkle has that mentality of like, my opponent is so scared of every one of my options, but the one that they least expect is when I make them feel like they're free and they're safe, but they're not. Uh, he takes, a, he limits your options into playing this game here. Nice, he barely gets out of forward there too. Oh, nice parry. But like, that's gonna be, like, he plays, I, I would say he plays very aggro at the beginning and then like he just waits out and then reads your defensive option. Yeah. But the thing about that, too, is that because he's played so much aggro, right, his opponents have seen his aggro options, and then they go, okay, now that he's playing defensive, like, I kind of have to adjust in that defensive play because I'm already seeing the aggro, the aggressive back air, yeah. the aggressive forward Oh, air. man. Well, that yeah. was SDI. That was SDI. But, yeah, Oracle. Kind of, he was doing really good in the first stock, and then he just, that was it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he just couldn't get off the ledge. And that's kind of like... I feel like that's one of the things that Samus does suffer, too. It's like being on the ledge and disappearing. She doesn't have that many options. Yeah, jump off, fair. Yeah, that's it. That's and a really... It, that's a, it, that's it's good. Jump off fair, jump off stair. Jump off nair. Yeah. It's but even then, like, the way that's... Wall jump fair. bear. I feel like that's one thing we need to see from Oracle here is jump off there. Yeah. That's the one thing we didn't see him. And the way that Sparkle was facing himself, usually you would see a Samus being used there if your opponent's trying to space you And out. it got buffed. And, yep, and it did. So, like... Like, I feel like Samus honestly is covered on the ledge. It's just it's like... An oracle is definitely no, I just feel that. like Sparkle just outplayed it. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, well, that's another issue. It's like, you can have really good options on the ledge, but like, Cloud's like, options on not letting you off the ledge are ridiculous. Yeah, he's not even letting Oracle touch the ground. Yeah. Oh, nice forward tilt. He's off stage. Hey, he got half flaming for forward tilt to go. Uh, Apologies if you guys can only sniff. I'm recovering from the, the Genesis. 
Oh, oh, yeah, I'm good. And now... And now, a word from our sponsor. Cloud Factor, the move to do it all. Why did, uh... Why did Blade Beam combo into Bear? That's such a simple combo. I don't give combo. it up the game, man. I just commentated, bro. <laughs> So many, so many small questions. One of life's biggest mysteries. Yeah. Jeez. This is a fair coming in from Samus, but oh. Oh, that was an opportunity to go for the cross slash. Like, Samus's do really love going for, like, the bombs and neutral. Yeah. Like, to help them land. But, like, it will, it will outright lose to a move like Limit Cross Slash. And pretty much Oracle's, like, jump out of option and it will lose to the back here. Oh, I feel like Oracle can't just catch a break here. Oh, I triple from what I would have been <coughs> Up tilt. Oh, I like the I like the wave, but he was just a little, a little too late on the wave. Yeah. Up in air. Up in air, bring him right back here, all the way back to the disadvantage. Okay, keep him in the corner. Oh. I feel like that's what Cloud does in the air game, in the aerial game. He just makes you a giant beach ball. Yo, he, he went for that Smash 4, bro. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he did, he did, he really did. <laughs> Landing up air in the limit cross slash. It used to be like landing up air into like down B. <laughs> Back okay. air, that'll do it. Yeah, we have some hitters here tonight. Charlie, Smargo, Nico, T3, Dom. Gold man. Need Nitro. Nitro. I see Nitro in a minute, man. Mm -hmm. And that'll finish it. Smargo takes it over Oracle. Oh, really nice. nice. 20 and a fist ball. But like, yeah, like it's gonna be uh, very difficult to. Uh, it's really hard.